Well, I just bought a thickness planer. And one of the things I found out real quick was it, it creates a lot of sawdust, a lot of chips. So what I tried to do first, even put the hose on out to the driveway. Well, that just made a mess out there. So what I did then was put it in the hoses you see here into one of these plastic storage containers. But even cutting a hole in that kind of it wasn't thick enough. Plus, it worked, but it didn't pull the chips out of the machine. My thickness planer doesn't have a blower inside that blows the chips out. So I had to hook up some sort of vacuum. And as you can see, my shop vac, it, it would be filled right away. And I use a filter bag, so that would even be worse. That You'd be changing that out all the time. So I, had it, I came up with a two-bucket cyclone dust separator. The idea for the dust separator is to have something between my thickness planer and my shop vac to collect the dust, the sawdust, and the chips, and a bigger capacity than what my shop vac would hold. So I'm going to make a two-bucket cyclone dust separator. Well, here's the two buckets I'll be using for my dust separator. The taller one will go on the top because it fits that way and we'll cut holes in the lid on the top. And now what I did already just using a hole saw I was able to cut the holes in pretty easily. What I'll do also is I'll cut some holes in this and place this board on top to give it some more reinforcing. But once it's on top, I'll have the center tube, of course, going to my shop vac. I found a connector that just happens to be the right size for both the end of my hose and the inside of the PVC for the shop vac. That'll go in as such. I need to cut this off and we'll glue it in. That and then coming from my planer I need a two and a half inch opening. And so that goes on the side. Now the problem with that is I couldn't find an op I couldn't find a connection for that. So I have to make our own. So let's do that. So I have this two and a half inch hose that I've got to fit in my two inch PVC and I didn't find like I said I didn't find a connection for this so we'll make our own by melting this and what I did earlier I made one out of the same piece friction fit fits perfect so this will go down into the bucket which will be my feed of my chips so let's go and see what we can do. And I should say this gets rather warm. So it's kind of not a bad idea to use some gloves. Here we have it. Fits in like a glove. Now let that cool down. I'm gonna let it let it sit there because if it you take it off now it'll go snap back to its own original shape. So we'll leave it there. And that'll be our connection from for our two and a half inch hose. With a simple circle cutting bit, we'll do the center hole for the pipe.
we have to drill our second hole now for this larger piece of pipe. And to get that measurement, here's a quick easy tip I just saw. Take your take a combination square. Another one. You put them together. And I've got one, two, and three-eighths. Two and three-eighths inches wide. So I need half of that to cut the right the diameter for the uh, pipe. Well, with both holes now cut out, and our supporting board, let's see how we did. Here's our intake outtake. Cut these down now to size. Now we use some construction adhesive to put that wood support on. It'll also act for the suction. We don't need much. So I'm going to use the pipe to keep it centered on the holes. So we'll let that set up overnight and we'll come back to it tomorrow. We'll put some silicone around the edge here. Give it a seal. Then with some soapy water, just even it out. And we'll go ahead and put a bead of cock around the uh, underside too. Well, it's time to cut the bottom off of the top bucket now. Well, there it is, my finished product. Two bucket cyclone dust separator. One of the pro one of the problems I found though was after I cut the bottom off of this taller bucket, the top bucket, it really didn't fit as great as I thought. So what I had to do, I had to cut a slit and then fold the side together to make it fit into the opening of this bucket. Doesn't seem to hamper the uh, suction at all. And it also, I found out, it is now the same size as this bucket, the Home Depot bucket. that fits in there gives me an even larger capacity and works just as fine as you'll see.
So let's go take a look at what it looks like in operation. Let's see what we did, how we did. Nothing in there. Which is good. Well, that's where it went in the separator. Mission accomplished for now. There you have it, my version of a two bucket cyclone dust collector. It's my first version. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably build a uh, larger capacity one if need be. Here's some additional videos, including the one on the thickness planer that started this whole project. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next project.